Hey y'all, it's Lexi, Lexi Stands. And um, today I am, actually it's today, it's 2 a.m. in Hawaii. Um, but I just wanted to get something off my chest. Um, and I'm going to share something about Elizabeth Warren. Now, I could care less if she claims to be Native American. Straight off the bat, I could care less. Um, even though her ethnicity supposedly could be 0.0000001% native. Um, that really doesn't phase me. I mean, like people uh, want to claim that they're all kinds of races. You have uh, Sean King, which is a popular one. You know, I mean, he'd rather prefer to be black. Hey, it's a free country, actually. <laughs> if he wants to be black, he can be black. Um, actually... Um, color is of your skin is not only um, something that I consider uh, when I think of someone of a culture, but also their mannerisms. Culture is more than just uh, skin color. Okay, um, if you want to talk about racial issues, then that's different. <sighs> There's a lot going on, but anyway. Um, I could care less if Elizabeth Warren is Native American. And um, true, she did uh, tell her college that she was Native American and her college believed her. And uh, what happened was she apparently uh, sidestepped her quote unquote white privilege to obtain uh, Native American privilege. And so uh, that got her a special recognition in college and she apparently used that Native American privilege from her 0.0000001% to um, garner favor in other areas. It, it didn't really hurt me at all. I don't think it hurts other natives. Um, so that's that. Okay, but the one thing that I just want to say, okay, that would tick me off. Okay, let's just forget about this whole hoopla for a bit. The fact that she is a senator, a senator from where? It was some some district that begins with a letter M. I think Maryland, Manhattan, um, one of those. Okay, so for all of those people who are called her constituents, from the district that she represents or the state that she represents in the Senate. You just had a U.S. Senator on your taxpayer dollars. Yeah, because she's hired by her constituents because her constituents voted for her. So instead of focusing on policy, instead of um, dealing with the issues, instead of bringing to light certain things that her constituents hired her to do, what did she do? She went and took a Ancestry DNA or 23andMe test and made that an issue in her life. Yes, any, to anyone who voted for Elizabeth Warren, you hired her to uh, figure out her DNA and to make a whole big national hoopla about it. That to me is ridiculous. If I vote in a senator, I want that senator to work hard for me. I want that senator to represent my state, represent my community. I want them to be the best senator they can and to fight for causes, not selfish, self-centered causes, but causes having to do with my state and what concerns my state. And to everyone who voted for Elizabeth Warren, you voted in somebody, <laughs> you voted in someone who was more concerned about proving her ethnicity. So she went through all that ordeal, she went through all that painstaking ordeal just to prove that she was 0 0.0000000001 Native American. And you hired her to do that. Yes, 
That's what she did. That's her way of serving you. I'm going to prove to everyone that I'm 0.00000000001% Native American. Congratulations, Maryland or Manhattan or whatever. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> she ain't my senator. And I would certainly hope that she would never be my senator. Because I would want someone to represent me to put our state, our district, whatever have you, first before personal interest. So whoever, you know, this speaks to, probably not talking really to voters who voted for Elizabeth Warren. I mean, I don't know, I might have some people who like, you know, say, oh, I voted for Elizabeth Warren. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I know that's who I voted for. But in actuality, <laughs> I think we all can agree that come November, we need to really pay attention to who we're hiring in office. Good night.